Well, we'll be quiet tonight and into the day on Monday, but then we will see big changes heading our way as we go into midweek. But your forecast for tonight will be nearly as cold as we were last night when we were down into the 20s. We'll be at 40 degrees at the beaches, inland areas bottoming out in the upper 30s by tomorrow morning. We'll see mostly cloudy skies to start the day. We'll remain mostly cloudy for the day on Monday as well, but very mild. We'll see afternoon highs up in the low to mid 60s across the inland areas at the beaches will be into the low 60s. So Monday by far the warmest day of the week. We see temperatures really plummeting after that. Winter storm watch already in effect here for all of our counties with the exception of Scotland County starting for Tuesday around lunchtime lasting until Wednesday evening for the potential for accumulating sleet, ice and snow as we go into Wednesday afternoon and all the way through Wednesday evening. So we'll be certainly monitoring this as we head through the next couple of days. So here is the setup here as we go Tuesday into the day Wednesday. That cold air will be in place. That's not going to be the question. Very cold air closer to the ground temperatures well down into the 30s during the day we will be into the 20s overnight. But unlike the last couple of Arctic blasts we've had, we are going to see a storm system develop offshore and continue to stay offshore. But as it does pass by the coast, going to see a lot of moisture with this, so that will eventually move onshore interacting with that cold air, setting the stage for a potential winter storm as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. So as it does track by the coast, you're going to see a lot of that moisture here closer to the beaches. We are going to see a mix of sleet, even the potential for a little bit of freezing rain and snow at the beaches. Inland areas looking like mainly snow with this event as it does move by our coast. So we'll see the colder air at the surface all the way up into the atmosphere, but closer to the beaches may see a little bit of warmer air moving in in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Surface will be very cold so that could lead us to some sleet and freezing rain mixing in with this. So that's why it's very difficult to pin down any accumulation totals for right now. Potentially measuring though snow accumulations in the inches here across the inland areas. Beach is a little bit more tricky. Depends on how much of that sleet and freezing rain we see in addition to that snow will really have an effect on our accumulation. So that's something we'll have to keep you updated on as we hit through the rest of the night and especially into the day on Monday and into the day on Tuesday. Once these weather models get a better handle on exactly the track of the storm system and the strength of the storm system as it does move on by our coast. But for right now, my forecast is for those uh, snow showers and even sleet and freezing rain becoming likely for the afternoon on Tuesday. We'll see that gradually begin to move in high temperatures only in the middle 30s on Tuesday. Then for Tuesday night will be windy with temperatures down into the 20s. So that'll drop wind chill values down into the teens. In addition to the heaviest of the snow possibly moving in for Tuesday night. Going to see that sleet potential for freezing rain as well. So certainly could be dealing with some travel issues, even the possibility of some power outages, especially as we go Tuesday night into Wednesday. So we'll certainly have to keep an eye on that as we head through the next couple of days. Then for Wednesday, we'll see that wintry precipitation likely at least for the first half of the day. You notice high temperatures only topping out at the freezing mark as we go into the day on Wednesday. So impacts, this is what I'm thinking right now. We'll see higher totals inland for the snow. So we are going to see a good chance for that snow, especially away from the beaches. But even at the coast, I do think we see periods of snow, but may see more sleet and freezing rain mixing in. So sleet potential will be at the coast. Freezing rain, we'll have to monitor that because that could potentially cause some power outages for Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. So we'll see that cold weather moving in for Tuesday and Wednesday with that winter weather likely for both days. Overnight lows in the 20s, afternoon highs in the 30s. Then we do see a gradual warm up those we get into the weekend. We'll still be chilly on Thursday, but then we're back into the mid to upper 50s as we get into the weekend. Across the inland areas, much of the same mid 60s on Monday. Big changes though for Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight lows well down into the 20s. Afternoon highs only in the 30s with the chance for that snow and sleet moving in and becoming likely for later in the day Tuesday and lasting through the first half of Wednesday.